Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining Tech with Terrence. I'm Terrence and today there's just something that I want to uh, bring to your attention that's really, really important. Um, it's about the Jason Dion six uh, practice test exams. Stay tuned. The key is, is the reason that you're more than likely not doing so well on the practice exams when you first take that first practice exam. Let's say on YouTube, let's say if you listen to uh, Professor Messer on YouTube, um, the way that he covers his information may not necessarily be in test question form um, when you get to the uh, CompTIA uh, test, when you actually take the test. Once you take that first set of test questions, more than likely most people, they're not going to do well just because of the format that the questions are in. I think the minimum passing score is like an 80 on those exams, but you want to get 80 and above on each one of those exams. So, uh, Basically, you're studying for a CompTIA Network Plus exam. You're studying for a uh, CompTIA A Plus exam. You're studying for a Security Plus exam. Um, you're to the point now to where you want to start taking some practice tests. I think that's great. You put in the work and you're at this point to where you need to uh, get some more practice in before you go take the actual exam. A lot so, of people are finding Jason Dion uh, on Udemy, which is, he's a great person to um, take practice, practice exams by. Um, you go on there on Udemy and um, you find his practice test and usually he has about six of them. Um, I, I, I've taken uh, A plus so far and he had six um, exams on A plus. Then I've also taken, or I'm about to, well I'm studying for Network Plus and he has six practice exams as well. As a matter of fact, he has two sets of practice exams for Network Plus. You're ready to take those exams, and let's say you start and you take your first exam. You learn that you took the exam, and now you get like a 60, you get like a 50, you get like an F on the exam. You take the next exam, you get an F on that one. You take the, the next one, and then so on, and then you find yourself you're not doing too well. Um, a lot of people are, are kind of like freaking out. Like I've been on Reddit, and um, I, I've had a few comments, uh, or I've read a few comments about people that aren't doing too well when they take the first practice exam. And so they're kind of freaking out because uh, they don't do so well on that exam. Once so you study for your exam, um, once you you know look at YouTube content, and once you um, do book reading or just whatever your main resource is, the uh, practice exam, that's like a, a secondary resource that you can use where you can um, just enhance your, your knowledge of, of what you've already been covering. The key is, is the reason that you're more than likely not doing so well on the practice exams when you first take that first practice exam, excuse me, uh, the reason that you may not be doing so well uh, it's just because of the format that the test questions are, are going to be in. You got to remember that when you take the CompTIA uh, exam, uh, that exam, it, it's given to you in a, or administered to you in a certain way as far as how they ask the questions to you. When you take those practice exams, it, it's totally expected um, to maybe not do so well. If you do do good when you take the test for the first time, that, that that's great. I mean, that, that's perfect. Um, just keep taking the exam and then you may actually be ready to um, take the actual exam if you're doing well on the exams. But just make sure that you uh, study your main resource. Once you uh, get to Jason Dion specifically, uh, you see his six practice tests, go ahead and uh, take the practice test, uh, read the questions thoroughly, and make sure you understand the question, and then um, go back and look at the, the actual test questions that you missed, and just kind of go back on you, YouTube or your main resource that you used at, at the beginning, just study that material and just go back and um, relearn the information that way. Um, it kind of happened to me when I took my first set of test questions from Jason Dion um, when I was taking A+. Plus, I kind of freaked out a little bit myself because it was like, you know, I did all this studying with the main resource. I actually used CertMaster uh, for my main resource. But um, I kind of freaked out a little bit um, when I took the practice exam from Jason Dion on Udemy. And uh, I think I scored like maybe a 60. It was low, whatever it was. It didn't pass. I think the minimum passing score is like an 80 on those exams. But you want to get 80 and above on each one of those exams. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I didn't do too well. But I just restudied the things that I missed on the actual exam and retook it. And uh, I did fine. And I did that for each one of the six uh, practice exams. So, so that's it. I just wanted to tell you guys, just kind of relax. If you don't do well on those exams, when you first take them, um, just don't.
don't worry about it. Go back and study the things or the items that you missed on the six practice tests, and then you'll be fine. And then you should be ready to go and take your A plus exam, your network plus uh, exam, or your security plus exam, or whatever exam that you may be taking that you found six practice tests for out of many practice tests there are. So uh, that's it, guys. Um, good luck on your, your test taking, and I uh, hope everything's going to be good. Um, remember, keep God first, and good luck. See you guys in the IT world. Bye.